I've got education. In the year load named Frank. And when they get together as money in the bank. I've got an elbow named Hank. I've got an earlobe named Frank. And when they get together, it's money in the bank. Hank likes to rest on armchairs. Frank likes to wear new earrings. Believe it, relieve it. Don't you ever leave it or lose it or give it away. I've got an elbow named Hank. I've got an earlobe named Frank. And when they get together, it's money in the bank. I've got a real smart elbow. I've got a real smart earlobe. They're singing, 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 singing together. Again at last I've got an elbow named Hank I've got an earlobe named Frank And when they get together It's money in the bank I've got an elbow named Hank I've got an earlobe named Frank And when they get together It's money in the bank Thank you. Okay. Okay. Tonight, we had an incredible show. <laughs> Our guest star is none other than the talented. He <laughs> said she's talented. Really talented. She's a singer, a comedian, an actress. I didn't know that. Actress Sandra Bernhardt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, intrepid? Intrepid? I don't know what that means. News anchor Rob Williams has news from The Hedge. I don't know where that is. Um, uh, wait, 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 just a second. Yeah. Happening actress, producer Colleen Camp is here. Yeah, she, yeah, <laughs> director John S. Rad made the weirdest, grooviest movie of the year so far. It's called Dangerous Moon. And he brought us exclusive uh, footage. <laughs> yeah, footage. I like it. Our musical guests are total freaks. Uh -huh. Freaks. Uh, and I mean that in a good way. Yeah, yeah I do. And in a good way. Get ready for the trim show. <laughs> And what would be Queer Edge without Daddy Jack's sensuous dancers, the Barbarellas? <laughs> With, okay, wait. I'm not finished. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> Strap yourselves in, because if it ain't broke, <laughs> that's so cool. That's so cool. So cool. So cool. Because we Queer Edge, we are a go. What a night we have for you guys tonight. We have a plethora, plethora, plethora of fine entertainment. We have tonight 
Laura Bush, Barbara Bush, George Bush Sr., and George W. Bush, the young idiot one. That's a lie. That's, not, that's a lie. But we do have Sandra Bernhardt here, and Sandra Bernhardt has, well, she's got the whole world in her hands. She's got the whole wide world in her hands. She's got the whole world in her hands. She's got the whole world in her hands. She's got Dick Cheney's heart in her hand. She's got Terry Schiavo's feeding tube in her hand. She's got everybody's vagina in her hands. She's got the whole world in her hand. So let's bring her out, Sandra Bernhard. Ensler's vagina <laughs> in my hand. No, no, you know what? I heard about her new show that's going to be here in LA. That the body complete or the body beautiful. Is she like stuck on that vagina thing? Honey, that chick needs to get a sense of humor. Okay, let me. I bet you this. I bet you at some point Sandra Bernhard was asked could, to do the vagina. No, model. no, 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 You're no. You're kidding. I've never been asked to you do that. I and I no. take it as a sign. From heaven above, you know that I am truly blessed. You are because that I never had to deal with the this likes is the of way Eve I you, Ensler and that fucking <laughs> shelf haircut <laughs> and that monotonous, <laughs> saggy, flying the blues. I got a cold in my pussy. <laughs> I got I, my pussy is dripping. It is. It is beautiful. <laughs> it is electric. The pussy electric. The pussy Well, you know what it is? Something tells me that they didn't think that, that the world was ready to hear what Sandra Bernhard's vagina had to say. <laughs> uh, because uh, My vagina is quiet. It is? My I vagina think... is understated. Uh -huh. My vagina is fresh. Uh-huh. And my vagina knows when to keep its big mouth <laughs> shut. <laughs> Thank God it's so Which is most of the time. I don't want to know about anybody's vagina. <laughs> even when I'm up in it. I don't want to know about it. Don't start talking in my face, bitch. <laughs> shut the shit down. I don't want to know. <laughs> who, oh. are, who are some of the people that have been in the vagina monologues? I mean, it's like that. It, it's kind of like you know. Well, you know, it started like Greece, like when Greece started, <laughs> and then with Susan Anto Anton. Yes, and then they just went down and, and down, down, and down, down, and they finally just like you know, we'd get like a, ba a bag lady. Right. You know, I wonder if they've done a transgendered version of the vagina. Uh, my my mama calls it the vagina. The giant yeah, vagina. Ma the vagina. <laughs> my mother calls my mother calls it her vagina. And she also calls she called me my mom, by the way, is like eighty five years old. And she called me the other day and she said, <laughs> Jay, what's going on with that Harriet Sharon? <laughs> Harriet Sharon? And I said, I don't who's Harriet Sharon? Well, Evidently, she had a heart attack or a stroke over there in <laughs> over there in Israel or Italy. I get them confused. <laughs> and I said, "Mother, I think it's." Harriet <laughs> And I started to explain oh. that it's Ariel, and then I thought, "It just let it it's be." Better. It's and better. I said, it's and I said, "Mom, it's uh, Harriet. It's doing fine. She's in a hospital in Milan, and <laughs> she's uh, she's expected to recover well. Fully. Yeah, fully." fully. So, uh, a special prayer tonight goes out to Harriet Sharon. Yes, absolutely. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvatav V'tzivanu Harriet We all said Allah See, don't let anyone ever say we're not spiritual. Look, all the all the crew Jews just came out. Well, you the were singing Jews, that. The crew Jews. The crew Jews. And now it's time for the cruise news. Cool, very good. Like cruise. Oh, what? 
But what? Chris you? has got the blues. Only a year for a the few Eve, days. The Eve Ensler blues in my coos. <laughs> Only here for a few days, and she knows how to segue. In my Gucci boot shoes. In her Gucci boot shoes. Take it away, Rob. Take it away, news. little baby man. Hello and welcome to the news. <coughs> Howard Stern began broadcasting his show on satellite radio, which means that when Howard says, let the midget touch your ass, it will now have to travel 22,223 miles to a geostationary orbiting satellite before coming back down to a radio in New Jersey where some guy will say, that midget's totally gonna touch your ass, dude. <laughs> the Turk who shot the Pope got out of jail. Turkey's justice minister was upset with his release, but the new pope is not worried because this pope is a former Nazi who eats punks like this for breakfast. Yeah, anyone could take a shot at peaceful old John Paul. Let's see you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the red-chewed rat singer, bitch. <laughs> Retired news anchor Walter Cronkite, who once famously spoke out against the Vietnam War, said in a recent interview that we should withdraw from Iraq. Two other former anchormen, Tom Brokaw and Dan Rather, also weighed in against the war, but in much softer terms. But we never heard from Peter Jennings, the Canadian. No, typical Peter Jennings, you know, avoids taking a stand, plays the safe corporate game, just meekly buries his head in the sand and... What? I'm sorry, what? He's gone. Really? Yeah. He's not My condolences. Uh-huh. Bush isn't the only president. <laughs> who has illegally spied on American citizens. Recent documents show that Harry Truman was able to stop a civil insurgency that used as its guiding document the third movement in Chopin's Sonata in B minor, and Grover Cleveland uncovered a plot to kidnap his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> a prominent study by a Korean scientist in the field of stem cell research was recently discredited. For more on this story, let's go to our science desk reporter, David DeAngelis. David D. Rob. The Korean research scientist who has fallen from grace is fighting back and arguing that stem cells have even far more life-enhancing qualities than first reported. Dr. Hei Wang insists that stem cells can cure cancer, reverse aging, and that they even taste great in milk. He points to a new South Korean breakfast cereal called Coco Stems, seen here. Now, if we're to believe the outlandish claims on the back of the box, this chocolatey cereal will never get soggy and has only a very mild side effect of fecal urgency. Hmm. Dr. Wang insists this cereal can save lives and that kids love it. Let's see. Well, Rob, it is quite crunchy. It's really chocolatey. And, ooh, <laughs> there's that fecal urgency. Back to you, Rob. Too late. <laughs> Thanks, David. Go get cleaned up. I'm Rob Williams. That's the Edge of the News. We'll be right back with more from Jack and Sandra on the Queer Edge. Just filling my my chest, run, trying to run her fingers through my to through my hair, chest. But it was tangled. Yeah, because, because my chest hair gets tangled from time to time. Um, Sandra, did I, here's here's one of the things I've got to find this because you know 
I had this list of questions, and, and, and I'm just going to briefly ask them of you as we go through these Queer Edge moments, because these are questions that Queer Edgers need to know about you. Great. Now, we uh, did you ever have a chance to get back with us about your electrical outlets? Oh, I'm my ask God. You how many, how no, many but you know what? I'm going, home. I'm going home to New York, so... Okay, in don't between, let us down on that. Okay, I will, I will come. it's very important. And I'm getting the place painted, so it'll, I'll be. I will be looking. Yeah, at specifics. specifically, we need a number. All right, we need a number on that. Well, okay. We're talking about the amount of electrical outlets that Sandra Bernhard has in our house because the the queer edgers really need to know. Uh, and and I don't want to really come down on you hard it being your first week, but when I ask you to do something, Sandra, please do it. Please follow through. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> follow through is everything. I agree. Okay. Now here's a question: Does Sandra Bernhard grocery shop? Does she ever? Okay. Honey. Now here's the, so she does, and if she bends down to pick up, say, a can of green beans that are on a lower shelf, lower shelf. will you stand up and show me how you would do that? Like the green beans are down here. And then you would put them in your basket. Okay, so do it for me one more time because I just want to make sure. Okay, so that's very feminine. Very feminine. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do this, would you? Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. uh, okay, and you wouldn't, like, if you had on a short skirt, you wouldn't be doing this to show your ass. No, I would okay. do, like, a, a dip. Okay. I'd do the green bean dip. Okay, <laughs> very green bean dip. Very classy. Very good answer, too. Oh, um, my God! And speaking of, <laughs> uh, yes, did that just come out of your vagina that we were just talking about? You I was, my vagina was miked tonight. See, so you were in your own way doing your own little vagina monologue. Honey, hey, yes. Go, okay, guys, listen. This past week in Las there were Vegas. No pussy farts. Las Vegas. Oh, I've got, we've got to talk about that. Yes, we have, that's a whole segment we have to talk about. This past weekend, Las Vegas hosted the Adult Video Expo, and since Jesus is such a big fan of our queer show, we decided to send one of our hosts, one of our hot Barbarellas, and some, for some divine intervention. Can we please take a look? Hello, it's Sister Lottie here with one of the Barbarellas, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth is going to take us into the avian and show us around today. She's going to give us the rapid education about the sex industry. Aren't you, Elizabeth? I am. All about it. Oh, it's going to be such fun. Punch and cookies for everyone. Let's go inside. The vivid girls are up there. Not a Catholic in the bunch is my guess. Oh, it's lovely in it's here. Look at <laughs> all the pornography everywhere. I don't have one of these. It would be very easy for this fella to shoot up. He's got lots of good veins. You could tie him off so easily. Yeah. It's like I've got an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other. Look at her. So how can we convert you already from your hellish ways over to the Catholic faith? Gangbang 36. Now is that 36 guys or is that number 36? I think that's the collective age of the two girls involved. Pornography is all about self-help, isn't it? Um. I guess, self-help. It is self-help, isn't it? Yes, I mean, it is helping yourself, isn't it? Well, you'd be helping yourself, wouldn't you? I'd be helping, I'd help you too, young man, don't yeah, worry. I help everybody. So I'm an agent of the Lord, so I'm here to help all. I help little children in the India reach orgasm. <laughs> Do you like the gay porn? Oh, yeah. Could you take us there? Let's Could you go. show it to us? Let's go. Let's go. Gay porn rock. Now, what is it that you find so appealing about these young men? Because my guess is they don't find you attractive at all. You look lovely today. Is that a spray on tan or a real tan? Uh, both. You're gorgeous. <laughs> He's absolutely I'm going to take his tan okay. with me. Oh, look. It rubs off. <laughs> Let's all rub off on Benjamin. Let's rub off on Benjamin, shall we? Someone, look at that body on her. Where did those breasts come from? How can you tell the difference between the real ones and the not real ones, Elizabeth? They're soft. But we can feel them because they're a photo. How can you tell? So what is it? Is there an angle to the dangle? What is it? Tell us all about your organization. Jesus loves porn. Stars. He loves porn stars. He, he loves, loves porn girls. stars. He doesn't love porn. He loves the girls. He no. loves the girls. We all love the girls. Uh, I think Jesus loves them in a little different way. Let's strap up a Barbarella, shall we? I've always wanted a big black cop. Well, 
this feels avian. Thank you so much. I feel like I've learned a lot and I'm closer to heaven than ever. For Sister Lonnie and the Queer Ed. Thank you all. Uh, you know, it, Vegas is so much fun. Uh, yeah, and what <laughs> I know, and what sta goes to Vegas obviously doesn't uh, stay there for long. And, and I see those things and and see Queer Edge and my name attached. And, and it you're just, proud. And you're proud. I am proud, but I know that at some time in the future, when I'm burning to a crisp in hell. I'm going to think back to those days. <laughs> when things were actually moral. And yes, when things were, were really happening. Listen, we have a guy. Uh, do I have an intro for him? Uh, yes, we do. This guy, I'm so excited about, and I know you are too, about meeting him. He's ready to have a screening of his latest film called Dangerous Men. The Ooh. story of my life at the New York Film Festival this March. But he's going to give us a sneak peek <gasps> tonight. Yes, a sneak peek. Please welcome director, writer, producer extraordinaire, John Rad. Come on on here, Mr. John Rad. How are you, sir? Oh, yeah. Dangerous men came out wow. of the blue. Uh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, That's Sandra Bernard. Oh. Yeah, yeah, just know she's a celebrity. Please keep your distance because right through here <laughs> is the celebrity vacuum it's the, yes, it's the that she lives in. Uh, and you are a celebrity too. And let me just point out, this is your celebrity vacuum. What? <laughs> what if I pass the wall? I, we'll talk about it then. Can okay. we talk? But right now we want to talk, talk about, about your you. Movie. We want to All talk right. about you and your movie. What do you prefer? A, do we refer to as a filmmaker or a, or a, a director or a movie maker? Uh, what's the difference? I'm asking you. Yes. I write, I produce, I direct, and I compose. <gasps> wow. At least uh, over 200 uh, songs I did. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. what, is, what are the themes of most of your songs? Uh, different from classic to rock. Really? Really? Yes. You look like a rocker to me. Yes, he does look <laughs> like a rocker. Yeah. Um, Fantastic. Uh, and you also kind of put off a little bit of a, a John Derrick vibe I'm picking up from you. Uh, am I accurate there? Or is, is all of this real is what I'm trying to say? You can touch it. I can catch it? You can touch it, find out. I can touch it and find out? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, we want to look at. We want to thank you from the bottom of our heart, both of us, for yeah. letting us see this sneak peek of. Uh, we're excited. We're excited. Dangerous men. Are we gonna, we're gonna roll it. Yeah, we're gonna roll it, and then we're gonna. We're uh, Sandra and I will critique it as if we're like at the Palme d'Or. Exactly. Okay, let's roll it, please. Okay, bitch, you're asking for it. Ah! Then now, before I blow your damn brains out. Are you talking to me? Where the hell is Black Pepper at? Here. Don't fuck with me. Now, I can smell cops a mile away. Now, who was that guy? Ra, ra, rum, dum, 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 dum. Be the fool of me. an understatement when you that. see a jet take off and that's when the woman is wandering into the ocean it's yeah and you know what i thought when i saw the woman wandering again i thought <laughs> john derrick because it was kind of bo derrick kind of vibe uh I, the film just seems i i'm watching that trailer and i'm thinking to myself i can hardly wait to pay ten dollars to go see it you i'll pay 12 guess. add tack on two for yeah, me yeah yeah but guess can you what? get us in free 
We, uh, all of you can come free for free. We can come for free. I'll bring yeah. my director's go card. We got to cut for a commercial. We do? We do. Oh, I didn't even have time. Because we have to pay for your film. Yeah. Oh. We, if we have you back at a later time, can you and I make out? I don't think so. You don't think so? Not from his culture. Not no. from his culture. Is it no, just from your very funny, I'm very serious. You're very serious? Very serious. And he would be heartbroken. Did you know you have a lot of hair coming out of your ear? Yeah. Could, would you let me, could I, like, play with that for a while and, like, uh, okay, they're telling me I have to say goodbye. Mariana. I love you. I want you to know that. And there's a possibility, and Sandra knows about this, when I fall in love with someone, I usually stalk them. So you'll probably see me outside your house tonight. Perfect. Okay? Good. We'll be right now, back. Now we'll be right back after this. <laughs> so buy whatever they're selling and be back for more Clear Edge right after this. Thank you, John. Over 50 major motion pictures and television shows. Now she can add the queer edge to that list. Please welcome my dear friend, actress, producer, Colleen Camp. You know what? From if you're really minute. nice, you'll get free tickets to this movie. Well, That's the cool one thing. One great filmmaker to the next. Yeah. Oh, honey. Now, Colleen and I met yes. on a little flick called Track 29. Yep. Uh, that Mick Rogue directed. Cool. Yeah, with Gary Oldman. Wow. And um, Teresa Russell, his then wife, and right. the two of us. It was down in um, North Carolina. And we bonded over our birthdays. We're Geminis. We rock! Yes, Mama. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and then we just like became very good friends, and I spent a lot of time at her house in um, West LA yes. with her ex-husband John Goldwyn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from the Goldwyn family. Uh, very much yes, so. so. Very much yeah, so. Yeah, he could kick it up a few notches with his ex, <laughs> mm -hmm. but that's a whole other. Do you know about John Goldwyn? You know the whole story? No, yes. we do. We don't have time for it. We no. don't. No. no. Can we? It kind of ties into the queer edge, but I'd rather very shine much the light so. on Miss yes. Colleen Camp. That's so it's been really like through yeah. the ringer, and she's did, she did a beautiful film, produced a film called American Rhapsody. Thank you. With oh, gorgeous that. Scarlett Johansson, who had yes. her titties fondled and manhandled yes. by Isaac Mizrahi on the Golden Globe. I mean, yeah, I, mean, what, about, I, I mean, what was going on? Infuriating, insane, cheap, insane, cheap and tawdry. That's right, baby. Uh, Scarlett Johansson needs to just take her bag and sla uh, slam him uh, in the kisser. Honey, okay. you got that right. Yeah. What do we got? Oh wait, what do we got back here? Oh my God, look! Oh my God, that's from Apocalypse Now. No. She was one of the Playboy bunnies in Apocalypse yes. Now. Wow. The that's sexy. me with the dark hair. I look love that you have that. Look at how sexy and gorgeous, honey. I remember think that she's scene? Still sexy remember that scene? No, 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 no. Not, not remember how sexy and gorgeous she sexy is. Sexy and gorgeous, sexy and gorgeous. Sheen. Adore you. We were in Vegas together oh, at this crazy weekend. birthday party last Saturday oh. night, and we won money. She's so fabulous. Because everybody got chips, a hundred dollars in chips from the, right. the party person, and I said, "I would like to get some chips, even though they were paying me." She went, and he came back and gave me a thousand dollars. A thousand in chips. Who oh, is no, 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 this sugar daddy? Honey, this was a weekend I won't forget. Steve Green, he's yeah. a real estate investor. He paid me money, flew me out. She was Mitch, amazing. Mitchie and I performed. Penny Marshall well, was Penny, at the party. Lorraine Bracco, Lorraine Bracco, Colleen. 
It was insane. And then he gave and you brought... all this and you didn't have to give it up? Oh, honey. He's gay, honey. Let me tell you something. She he was, was gay. Amazing. Private jets, the whole nine years. This has been a week. I'll tell you. That segueing right into the, the, the big Vanity Fair party. Yes. Where we were at, at also on Sunday Icky night. Squeeze. Not too hey. cool. Not can, too cool for can, school. Right. Can I, I say something see, here? I didn't see Eve Ensler there with her it was, vagina. I guess not. That whole vagina uh, thing was amazing. Did you yeah. ever do the vagina mama? No, I did yeah. not. God. I see. I, we don't I need to. Be, I used to host a show called The Jackie Jet, and, and, and I think a show called The Queer Ed. And I, I, and I, you know the beautiful thing is, oh, you're going to stay in your bungalow at the BHH uh, this know. weekend, and you're going to you're going to relax while I'm flying back to New York to be that with my true. child. That is true. That is true. I can't go back because I'm doing. Oh no! Are you serious? You're leaving? I'm, I'll be back Tuesday. You'll be well, there. Be here Friday night? No. Why? What's going on Friday oh, night? I'm what am doing I doing? Okay. Oh, if the two of you family. do not settle no, down, no, I'm putting just, John Rad no, in between you. I'm in love with her. I adore her. Why do I miss all your best parties? I know. She's a party giver extraordinaire. This year, this year, I'm telling you. I gotta get home to my my daughter. Oh, John, on the weekend. Are you are you willing to get in between these two? If they don't stop. Okay. Here's the thing, Colleen. I want to ask you a question. I adore. What are you doing now? Uh, well, I, I want to do something with Sandra, as uh -huh. you can tell. But uh, I just finished doing the Edie Sedgwick story, this movie Factory Girl. Oh, yeah. Which was a lot of fun. I play the landlord that kicks her out. Oh, that's uh -huh. genius. Yeah, gee, isn't it? It's Who's perfect. producing that? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's being done. Sony is doing it. You know, Sony, Sony Classics. Yeah, and George Hickenlooper. Yeah, so Sony Classics and uh, George Hickenlooper did The Man from Elysian Fields. And I actually met him because I did a, the movie, as you can see, Apocalypse Now. Right. And I was in the Hearts of Darkness uh, documentary, which well, George directed. Are you always working? Are you one of those actresses that's always working? Well, it's real interesting because um, Sandra, as you know, you know, we met and we, where we bonded is that we, we do more than just act. We obviously do many things. And I have been acting in the last year. I did Running With Scissors. I did Factory Girl. But I'm also segued into producing. And so I'm also involved in a lot of great projects as a producer that I'm very excited about as well. Okay. And so I do, yeah, I do act all the time. Okay, I have this question for you. Now, one of your husbands was <laughs> fond of Dorothy Stratton. Well... I wasn't married to Peter Bogdanovich, mm -hmm. but we did a movie together, and he was dating Dorothy Stratton. It was a movie called They All Laugh with Audrey Hepburn, Dorothy, and John, the late, mm -hmm. unfortunately, Audrey Hepburn, oh, and John Ritter, and Dorothy uh, Stratton. Uh, Kenya, did you ever uh, hear, Hustle Hustle this is really yes, a weird please, story, baby. but did you yeah, ever hear this weird story that someone <clears throat> had sex with Dorothy Stratton after she was dead? Well, that was that was yes, probably yes, Paul, yes, her yes, husband. That's who right. Killed, who yeah. killed her? Yeah, right before he killed himself. That's right. Sandra's right. Did he star, do? Remember Star Eighty Two? The fat. The oh, yes. so did you know this man? I never met him, but when we were on the movie, which was done in 1980, and they uh -huh. made a movie about it, as Sandra says, Star Eighty, which was uh, Bob Fosse directed, mm -hmm. was about uh, Dorothy Bob Stratton, and she died on August 14th, 1980. And, and did someone, did a man have sex with her? Yeah, that, that yes. husband. The guy, the who, husband, he the guy who came yes. and was like her manager and like he right. flipped out and lost his shit because he was having it, she was having an affair That's with, right. with um, Peter Bogdanovich. That's, That's right. Kinky. And then Peter Bogdanovich ended up marrying her sister. That's right. Oh, John Peter, Brad, Peter really like, do you think that that's yeah, kinky? Yeah. Isn't that kinky? But you're still, but yeah, you're that still would, dangerous John, that men. Yeah. Dangerous that men. Make a sequel. That, that would not fly. happen that in a That wouldn't fly in a ram, yeah. honey. And it won't involve any airplanes. Yeah. No. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Do you do TV? Do you do very much TV? Uh, I do. I just did a pilot. I uh -huh. did a pilot. Laura Keitlinger, who... Sandra and I know together. Uh -huh. um, Keep that on the DL. Yeah, yeah. Do you love that one? What was this? Uh -huh. This was I did this about eight, nine months ago. It's for the Independent Film Channel, and they they picked it up. We're supposed to resume it. Just I did a little tiny part in that. It's very funny, and uh, I play a friend of hers, and she. Uh, she uh, writes uh, Will and Grace, one of the writers of Will and Grace. Is this happening? This, this, this? I hope so. Bob like, Balaban directed it. I love Bob Balaban. I love him. Bob, yes. Bob Balaban. Yeah, I just I'm played. taking the fifth. I'm Bob Balaban. I, I do want to just say I something. I was just at his house playing celebrity sh well, charades, and it was something else. Yeah. I just, Again. you know, I'm really yes. kind of obsessed with this necrophilia <laughs> thing. 
Um, I, 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 it, the, the, it blo kind of blows me away. i just like to say if anyone out there has ever uh, participated, had sex with a, a dead chick or a dead dude, send an email to me because I want to find out what the fuck is wrong with you. Uh, and, and, and you can, in the email, you can say, this is what I've done and this is what is the fuck wrong with me. Uh, 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 is that fair? Yes, very, very, very fair. fair. It's a nice way of saying you're sick and you should be put into yeah. an institution. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's not right. It's not right. very, very fair. Okay. Very you, fair. Now, what's, what's in the future? You guys should do something. We what? have to do something. Well, yeah. we've been trying to she, do something. She's right. a long time. We've been trying. She was going to produce a TV show for me, yes. mm -hmm. which she would have played one of my friends, and we pitched it everywhere, and it didn't fly. It was something that Jennifer and it was really, wanted to and it was, it? Was, it, was, it was actually something you could have been in. It was fabulous. It was all, all took place in L.A. The girls could yes. have been in it, the, the strippers, the, no, the dancers. Perfect. Everybody no. here could have been involved with it. But HBO and Showtime, it was just a little bit too much for them. Yeah. It was, I, about, it was about me playing this, this kind of like me who gets hired on a sitcom, like in playing a, a, a mother on a sitcom. So it's behind the scenes of the sitcom, me driving around the valley, my life brilliant. in L.A. Sounds good to me. Well, it's brilliant. And there's nobody I, like I've got like $40 or something with that help. At this point, honey, please. At this yeah. point, we would do it. Hey, uh, listen, and there's, there's uh, how you contact us, by the way. And if you're interested in producing this, because obviously a lot of homos watch this show. Yes. And we know the homos have the money. Genius. Yes. Obviously, the homos have the money. So That's if you smart. want to contribute to very, this. Very smart. The, Get in touch you with us, because it's, it's, the, 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 the project is called Triple A. Triple A. And also, if you want to be a part of our live studio audience, you can email us. <laughs> take a commercial break because we have products to sell. I hate to keep hammering this, but if you don't want to buy the products, send Sandy and I the money directly and we'll be fine. Exactly. We'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Yay! I think this show, he should do a movie of this. Yes, that's a great idea, actually. Yes, I am telling you. A great idea about, yes. Yeah. And then you're going to walk over to them? Yeah. Talk. Yeah, and then they're going to they're going to do you want to do the second song? <coughs> Look at Jackie. 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 Jackie.
self-described cross between the B-52s and Eminem, and they'll be performing at the NAM show on January 21st. But they are jamming out with us now. Please welcome the Trim Show. You're Thank chic you. and fabulous with a feather eyelash. Where are you, where are you doing your gigs next? Oh, Nam. We're going to Nam. What, what, where is Nam uh, this Anaheim. year? Oh, in Anaheim. Yeah. Is this one of these na na oh, national conventions? Yes. So I'm hoping that this is going to lead to big, huge things for you kids. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You know, we're not going to waste any time. We want you to do another number for us. Because right. you got us jacked up, turned on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and yes. our vaginas, oh. our vaginas are talking Woo. now. The kids, the kids are going to do it again. The kids are doing it again. The kids are doing it again. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to watch kids.
Oh. Wow. What a mind-blowing evening. What a what a plethora of entertainers. Kind of. What, what an overjoyed state I'm in from just being around such semi-talented people. It brings me great joy, but this joy that comes to me is not just about being wacky and quacky and queer edgy. It's about education. This show is about education. It's PBS on acid. It's Sesame Street on acid. It's no child left behind. It's no drug left behind. <laughs> and what we do is, this is the point where we ask our guests, what have you learned tonight? What are you going to be going home and blogging about mm -hmm. tonight? Because that's what's really important, is what people blog about these days. And so we're going to start with you, Mr. Can I call you Mr. Lone? Can I also, may I also call you Stud Puppet? Yeah, it's okay. Lo uh, Mr. Lone Stud Puppet, what have you learned from this show tonight? I think that I'm, I'm going to wear more black and red because it's amazing. Yeah, black? Just like, and red. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Let me tell you this. It's just amazing. I like black. I wish they would make something darker yeah. than this, but they don't. <laughs> so for the time being, I'll just wear the black. Yeah, I uh, love it. And what about you, Storm, who, whose fashion statements far out exceed mine? Yeah. What have you learned? Mm, Glitter lips? I've learned that you can be in L.A. and be an artist that has fun and um, doesn't care what people think about you. Yeah. And connect with people in, in this town who are spiritual and who are deep and who are trying to change the consciousness of this country and have a lot of fun doing it. Wow! That is nice. hey, yeah. Yeah. That is deeper than me, actually. That, that was... almost brought a tear to my eye. That was beautiful. Really, thank you. Know it. It's, it's going to be hard to top that one, honey, but yeah, give it a I shot. I don't know. That will be hard, but um, what I learned was necrophilia, I need a dead dick. They don't talk back. I think my head's sick. <laughs> to email that uh, in. No. Okay, and now, uh, John, what have you learned, John Radk, one of our favorite new directors in the whole wide world, the <laughs> only director in the world who can grow hair out of his ears down to here. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Uh, but, uh, left front there came out from here. Okay. That's what did you learn tonight, dear sir? Uh, I learned that uh, artists make a lot of difference in our lives. Uh-huh and to joy and uh, seems to me a lot of beautiful and talented people tonight here. Yes, mm -hmm. really they enjoy. are. And that includes you, Sir John Rath. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 it does. Yes, yes it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Chloe, what, what did you learn, honey? I'm blown away. I love this network. I'm out of my mind with excitement. And I, I, <laughs> I, I, and I want this group this group here, we are going to do something and make a movie with you, Sandra, Woo! everybody here. I learned it on the show. We are going to follow this troop here. It's going to happen. It's fantastic. Sounds good to me. And now I have learned, what are you I have learned that a woman who can host a major pre-Oscar party for Ang Lee would sit here and have the understanding and insight that Colleen Camp has oh. for this crowd of oh. true artists. And honey, we are bridging the gap yes. between yes, us. Yes. 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 What, what, what? Yes. Yes. And what will be? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you guys. Here's what I've learned. I've learned that I have to piss like a freaking racehorse, I and, I, that, and now I'm allowed to do that. You guys, thank you for tuning in. Come back and see us, because we literally have 16 pounds of queer stuff coming your way. Good night, everybody.